reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to Moses. Taking some of the spirit that was on Moses, the Lord bestowed it on the seventy elders. And as the spirit came to rest on them, they prophesied. Now two men, one named Eldad and the other one Medad, were not in the gathering, but had been left in the camp. They too had been on the list, but had not gone out to the tent. Yet the Spirit came to rest on them also, and they prophesied in the camp. So when a young man quickly told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp, Joshua, son of Nun, who from his youth had been Moses' aide, said, Moses, my Lord, stop them. But Moses answered him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the people of the Lord were prophets. Would that the Lord might bestow his Spirit on them all. The Word of the Lord. In this passage from the book of Numbers, we see an example of the great generosity of God. Although Eldad and Medad remained in the camp and didn't go to the tent with the group, they were still blessed by the Lord with the gift to prophesy. At this, Joshua shows that he is jealous by telling Moses to stop them from using this gift. Moses says no and expresses his delight in seeing that the Lord is blessing all of his people. There is a clear similarity between this passage and the parable of the workers in the vineyard. Although some workers have done more, worked longer hours, and bore the day's heat, they were still paid the same wage as those who only worked the last part of the day. In this passage, Eldad and Medad did not go out to the tent to worship, yet they were still rewarded with the same gift as the others. Neither of these passages sits all that well with us. Fairness is such an important principle in our society today that the unfairness in each of these situations is hard to overlook. How could someone work less but still be equally rewarded? This is exactly how Joshua was thinking in today's reading. He was jealous that Eldad and Medad were blessed without doing the same work. However, Moses guides us to see that this worldly understanding, worldly understanding of fairness will always come up short when we're talking about God. As God is infinite, His blessings cannot be divided up. We each receive as much or as little as we need. And in our own humility, we must celebrate others when they receive greater blessings than us and not be envious because our God is generous. Although at times we can be like Joshua in his jealousy, we must also see ourselves in the figures of Eldad and Medad. They didn't make it out of the camp. We don't know why they didn't make it. We simply know that they didn't. They came up short of doing what was expected of them. In our own lives, we set a lot of goals for ourselves. Anything from making straight A's to being a good parent or son or daughter. There's nothing wrong with setting these goals. They can certainly help us to be better versions of ourselves and grow closer to who God has made us to be. The problem comes when we fail to achieve these goals and we see ourselves as somehow lesser because of our failure. As we see in the reading, Eldad and Medad, despite coming up short, are still blessed and loved by the Lord. In our own lives, we must continue to see that even when we fail, we are no less loved or blessed by our generous Father in heaven. May we continue to rely on this love and show our appreciation for it by the way that we live our lives. Dear Lord.